A report by a Washington-based think tank has found uh, some $100 million in suspected money laundering uh, property buys in Dubai. It's not entirely surprising. Dubai opened up its real estate market in 2002, and a lot of foreign money rushed in, and that's what's helped fuel this construction boom that saw the world's tallest building and all sorts of other architectural wonders spring up. The report by the Center for Advanced Defense Studies identified different individuals who had been previously sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury. It then used what it described as a leaked database of Dubai property records dating from 2016 to then cross-check against those uh, U.S. Treasury sanctions. And what they found was a series of individuals who had been previously sanctioned by the U.S. who openly owned properties in Dubai. One of the biggest names from the report was Rami McClouf. Uh, Rami McClouf is a cousin of Syria's embattled president, Bashar al-Assad. And uh, Mr. McClouf, according to the report, owns properties on the Palm Jumeirah, the big man-made archipelago that looks like a palm tree out in the Persian Gulf off Dubai. The report also found that uh, two Lebanese businessmen also owned property in Dubai. And it traced uh, other business associates that they had in sanctioned companies to tens of millions of dollars of property in Dubai licensed in their name. Now, for the idea about money laundering is that you have to take money that you can't otherwise spend in the, in the wider market and then put it into a market and wash it into another investment, then sell that investment to then recoup your money. The reason why Dubai works so well is because there is such a high-end luxury boom here. There's apartments, there's uh, desert villas, there's hotel apartments, there's whole hotels that you can actually purchase here and then uh, use as an investment to then launder that money. The U.S. State Department in its annual narcotics report has praised the UAE in the past for doing more to combat uh, money laundering and also foreign terrorism funding through the Emirate. However, it has warned that Dubai needs to do more and not necessarily just because of the threat from terror financing or from war profiteering and elsewhere. The State Department has said that it's also a reputational risk for Dubai, which advertises itself as a hub for international business. The Associated Press and uh, the report's authors have reached out to the Emirati government and there's been no response so far.